Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. Uh, we have some developments with these uh, fires that are going on in California. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video if you end up liking it, hit the notification bell, and make sure to leave comments. Um, I'd love to hear what you, what you think about this situation. So, um, these two fires here, up here, this is the uh, Dixie Fire, down here is the Caldora Fire, and they are still raging. So, you can see, like, um, this is the area, obviously, that's been burned right here, and then this darker area. Right now, I have it where it's showing the satellite um, hot spots, and so you have two parts of this fire right now. You have this area down here that's bur burning, and then this up here that's still burning, and all this right here has already been burned. So, right now, uh, as of... Um, the last time that this was updated, uh, we're at 107,000 acres that have been burned, and it's still only 48% contained, which is up from before because I think the last time I did a video on this, it was like at something like 33% con contained. So uh, I guess they've, you know, made some progress with this, but um, it may be a little a, too little too late because. Uh, I think also the last time I reported on this, um, it, the, it was definitely not anywhere close to 800. I think it was like 600,000. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, the thing I want to highlight here with how much has already been burned, uh, if we go over here to fire.ca.gov, uh, you have the top 20 largest California wildfires of all time. Um, Right now, the August 2020 fire, the August Complex fire, is still at the number one spot with one million acres. But this is closing in, and this is something that I, I thought might happen. I think that there's probably still a chance that this is going to take the number one spot, the Dixie fire. Um, with it only being 48% contained, um, I don't think it's going to take much for it to... Uh, to pass this up. So I, I think that we're looking at currently what's going to become the largest wildfire in California of all time. Um, in terms of st uh, structures that have, that have been destroyed, um, that still has a ways to go if it's going to take the number one spot. It looks like uh, the fire that takes the cake on that one would be this uh, Cedar Fire back in 2003. Uh, down by in San Diego County, so um, I don't I don't think right now I know that they were last time I looked at this they were worried about Susanville right here, but it doesn't look like that's really very much in danger anymore. Um, I think that they got that taken care of, and now it's just kind of it's burning down here. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see because. Uh, with it only being 48% contained, who knows how far it's going to spread. Um, let me look up here and see if there's any towns nearby. It doesn't look like there's really any big towns or anything uh, right now that are in danger. It looks like there's Quincy down here. But um, let me hop over to this article right here. SF Gabe. Um, it, the Dixie Fire has engulfed more than half of Lassen Volcanic National Park. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, that's a really sad thing. Um, I don't know, you know, what's gonna, what's ultimately gonna happen. But here's some pictures of that. Um, and also we have active duty soldiers coming in from Fort Lu Fort Lewis McCord up in Washington uh, that are coming down. Uh, 200 soldiers, uh, they're with the Army's 23rd Brigade Engineer Battalion and 2-3 Infantry Battalion. So they are coming in. Let's see, Army and Marine Corps units deployed last year to California for firefighting as well. So, um, da, 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 da. yeah, I haven't really read through this article, but I just wanted to make mention of that, that they have some active duty troops coming in to help with the fire. Um, 
Now, one thing I also want to point out is, so look at look at the size of this, uh, the boundary here of the, of the fire. Okay, I'm not going to zoom out. I'm going to keep it at the same, uh, you know, altitude, so to speak, as we're looking down on the fire. So take a look at that. And then if we go over here to Salt Lake, I mean, that basically would have, if, if that had been in Salt Lake, it would have like burnt up the entire valley and, and then some. I'm going to zoom out so we can, we can kind of see both. You have Provo down here, Salt Lake. This probably easily could have burnt up all of Utah Valley and Salt Lake Valley. Um, and then we got this um, other fire that, it, this is not a good situation either. This is the Caldor fire. Uh, right now it's at 191,000 acres burned. And this one is even less contained. It's at 16%. Now, the news with this fire is that it is getting really close to um, South Lake Tahoe, which I'm, I'm talking about South Lake Tahoe City and this whole area. If we zoom in here where the hot spots are, um, you can see that basically it like you see all these streets here. So you got structures and stuff that are going to be here. These look like neighborhoods and they're expecting for it to continue to move northeast. So it's like moving right in the direction of South uh, Lake Tahoe. Um, and actually, uh, let's see, Caldor Fire prompts state of emergency in Nevada and California with more than 50,000 being told to evacuate Lake Tahoe region. So Nevada is actually gearing up for this. You can see where it's at right now. now here's the state line right here. Um, this is a different fire that's it looks like it's probably gone from california to nevada but uh let's see that's 82 percent contained the tamarack incident but um the caldor fire is still as of right now completely inside california but it looks like they expect for it to move into uh nevada and cross the border here right near south lake tahoe so, and then you see this pink area here. This is a red flag warning. This entire uh, pink area, it, it looks like it goes all up along the border of California and, and um, Nevada all the way to the, to the top. So, yeah, it's really raging. It's raging over here. There's a lot going on down here on the kind of the southern part of the fire or this uh, boundary. Um, let's see what it says here. Uh, the governors of California and Nevada declared states of emergency Monday as the fast-moving Caldor fire prompts officials to tell everyone in the city of uh, South Lake Tahoe to get out. In California, Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency in Alpine, Amador, and Placer counties, which surround Lake, the Lake Tahoe region. Okay. Uh, Nevada, Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak also declared a state of emergency Monday in anticipation of flames. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, of flames from the Caldor fire crossing state lines in coming days. Uh, all right, the entire city, the entire city of South Lake Tahoe and the southern portion of, lake, of the lake were put under mandatory evacuation yesterday. So yeah, I would imagine that I'm not really too like familiar with this region, but it looks like you maybe have kind of like the main city of South Lake Tahoe, and then you have some other places like Myers. I, I'm, I'm assuming that that's probably like a small town. Um, little Norway. Yeah, so th this whole area, it looks like there's like a airport right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so th this whole area is kind of like in danger and I can see why they would uh, do the mandatory evacuations. Um, it is being done out of a, and a, out of an abundance of caution but the full city limits are under evacuation order South Lake Tahoe City spokesperson Lindsay Baker told CNN. Inmates at the South Lake Tahoe jail were also evacuated uh, the, Eldor the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office said. The fire was active overnight and embers traveled up about three quarters of a mile according to the incident report. Strong winds tested control lines and the area is under a red flag warning through Wednesday night according to the incident report. 
Lynch may go out. Um, let's go over here to this article. Caldor fire burning at Echo Summit, Christmas Valley. Evacuations complete. Uh, log jammed Highway 50 cleared Monday evening. So people were just scrambling to, to get out. Um, Fire officials said the blaze continued to move in a northeasterly direction. Uh, that's what I was just talking about. So here's like the fire right here and it's moving this way. So this is just like right in the path of, of where it's traveling. Um, and that it was burning around Echo Summit and, Summit and into Christmas Valley area. It ripped through another 5,000 acres overnight into Tuesday morning and is at 191,607 acres since it began October, I mean, August 14th, according to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. The fire is 15% contained. Uh, difficult weather conditions ahead, so that's no help. Um, red flag weather conditions were in the weather forecast again, and a warning is set to remain in place until 11 p.m. Wednesday as winds are expected to reach gusts of 35 miles per hour in, in most areas and as high as 50 miles per hour uh, on some of the ridges. Winds carried embers up to three quarters of a mile overnight and strong down canyon winds tested control lines. All right. We got more crews arriving. Officials said 3,700 firefighters are working the Caldor fire and that more crews are on the way. Crews from Utah, Washington, and Wisconsin all working on the blaze, but crews from Louisiana returned to that state to provide help in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. All right, guys, so um, yeah, things are just crazy. Um, the fire situation out west is still, is still, you know, just really bad. Uh, let's pray for the people that live in this uh, Lake Tahoe and South Lake Tahoe area because, you know, they've evacuated and who knows if they're going to return back to their homes. And that's a really sad situation. And let's also pray for anyone that's here in Nevada because it looks like this is, yeah, you have like a, it looks like a lot of little towns here that go from the, the South Lake Tahoe area into Nevada. So, um, We'll just have to keep an eye on this. I'll update you uh, when I when I come across significant developments, um, you know. And then just a general look at the map here. You can see uh, these icons here that have the yellow background and the red flame in the middle. These are all new fires that just happened within the last 24 hours. So there's a lot of those. Um, I think the total number of active fires have actually gone down. So that's a good thing. Um, but you can see that we're, we're still not really out of the woods here. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and let me hear your comments so I can know what you think about this whole situation. Uh, do you live in California or in this Lake Tahoe area? Do you live in any of these other places up here that are burning? Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. So um, I'll talk to you next time.